Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be building in the world of Chestnut Ridge, which is the latest world that we got from the newest expansion pack, which came out last week, the Sims 4 Horse Ranch EP, and I'm going to be building the ultimate family farm. So I feel like I need to explain myself a little bit by what I mean the term ultimate family farm, because I've built many farms before in the past, but up until recently, we only had a select few farm animals to include in these farms. Now, with the Horse Ranch expansion pack that just came out, we got the introduction of, well firstly horses, which I feel like that's a bit of a given, but now we have horses in The Sims 4. But then we also got the introduction of baby goats and baby sheep, which can I just say that was a little bit unexpected. For, I just would never have thought that with a horse expansion pack would get also sheep and goats. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them, they're very adorable, but it was just a little bit of a, a weird one for me. But either way, we've now got a few more farm animals in the game. And so I thought, well, why not sit down and just build an absolutely colossal family farm that includes space for horses and cows and llamas and chickens and literally every single type of animal in the game I want to be able to include in this massive farm. And so, yeah, that is basically what I did. And so I really hope you guys like it. But getting on and talking a little bit more about the build. So this house ends up having four bedrooms and five bathrooms and it's built on a 64 by 64 lot now if you're curious where i've built it i'm not sure on the neighborhood name in the new world of chestnut ridge but if you just look in the top left corner you'll see the original lot name i built it on a lot that didn't have like any pre-existing family attached to it when you go into a brand new safe hole this lot basically just has a few trees on a few different like bushes and a couple of rocks like there's nothing there and so if you're looking for a big farm or like a big house or something just to basically plonk down if you end up liking this one, you can maybe plonk it down in your sofa. But this house, yeah, it's built on a 64 by 64 lot, which this is actually the first ever 64 by 64 house that I've ever built on my channel. Would you believe it? I've only ever built on one 64 by 64 lot, four lot previously. And that was when we got the high school years expansion pack and I built a high school. But apart from then, I've never really built on a 64 by 64 lot because they're absolutely colossal and don't get me wrong, I love a big building, I love building big houses but sometimes when you go into a brand new lot and it's this big and it's completely blank and you've got to fill it out, it can be a little bit daunting but something I actually found when I was building this house is even though this is quite literally the biggest lot in the game, I felt like I needed more space because coming into this build I pretty much had like a, a big mental list I probably should have wrote it down but I was keeping a mental track of everything that I wanted to include in this farm because I not only wanted to have space for your sims to practice their horse jumps and you know like practice the horse riding skill bits and bobs you know like when they walk about around barrels and they can jump over like all these different things I wanted to include them but then I also wanted to make sure I had a big enough space to be able to store a couple of different horses I then also wanted the animal sheds for like cows and llamas, a chicken coop, but then I also wanted like solar panels and the recycling machine from Eco Lifestyle and just loads of just stuff that basically relates to sustainable living. I just wanted to have on this lot somewhere, but then I also wanted to lay it out nicely and it was just, it was just something that I encountered. I just felt like I needed more space. I feel like I could have done with maybe like an 80 by 80 lot if i'm being completely honest with you just because it was just so much that i just wanted to squeeze into this lot and yeah even though it's the biggest lot in the game i still felt like i could have done with just a couple more extra tiles here and there but you can see that i'm currently just going around and placing down some windows and doors in the actual house itself now it's really funny because the actual house isn't that big but i did it on purpose because i'm thinking from a gameplay perspective you're not going to want to have an absolutely colossal house that maybe has like six, seven bedrooms with loads of different family members on top of the absolutely massive farmland that you've got outside because whenever I play with like the cottage living expansion pack myself, I normally get my sims to live on like smaller little houses just because it's a little bit easier for gameplay, you know, you can navigate your way around it. And also, I find that whenever my sim has a farm and I'm playing like a farm kind of storyline, my sims are never in the house, <laughs> they always just are outside and so when it came around to actually building the house itself, yeah I just didn't want to make it too big because I wanted it to be really easy for gameplay. Like I said there ends up being like four bedrooms and five bathrooms, there is I think two powder rooms so just like a toilet and a sink and then some storage cabinets in there. But then in terms of like the bedroom situation, I decorated to be one for a set of parents, 
one for a teenager, one for a kid, and then one guest bedroom as well. At one point during this build, I was debating making what ends up being the guest bedroom into an infant's room, but I'm really happy that I decided to go against that option and make it into a guest bedroom because basically, originally, on the inside, I wanted there to be a bedroom for pretty much like every single life stage in the game. You know, I'm building a massive farm that's gonna have options for every single farm animal. On the inside, I was thinking it might be a nice idea to have options for every sort of like age group in terms of like life stage bedrooms. But then when it actually came around to start furnishing at the guest bedroom, I then realised, hang on, you've got a massive farm. You've got probably about 20 chickens, I don't know, like two, three llamas, a ton of different horses. Are you really going to be able to manage all of that plus an infant? And so then I decided against it. And so I decided to make it into like a spare guest bedroom, you know, maybe grandma comes to stay or whatever. It goes without saying, but if you want to download this build and maybe you want to change it to be like an infant's room, a toddler's room, feel free to do so. But I was just thinking for like easy gameplay, unless you want to give yourself a headache, it might, it, it might cause a headache if you have all the farm animals plus an infant, but I mean, that's definitely a challenge within itself, but also on the inside of this house, there ends up being a basement. Now, going back to building this house and making sure that it's pretty much got everything to do with farmland, you know, like sustainable living, basically like cottage living to an absolute extreme, I wanted to make sure to include everything. One of the things that kind of chimes into this category for me anyway is nectar making and like your sims to be able to make their own wine or make their own juice and stuff and so in the basement there ends up being one room on the left hand side which is basically like a little bar room your sims can go down there have a glass of wine have a chit chat there is also like a ton of barrels in the wall and that is where your sims can actually store all the different nectar that they make but then there's a room across the hall and in there it pretty much just ends up being like a beverage making room. I'm calling it the beverage room and not the nectar making room because your sims not only can they make a bottle of wine in this room, but they can also fizz some juice. I was about to say juice fizzing, but that's, they can basically, they can make the drinks that we got from Eco Lifestyle because if you're not aware, with the Eco Lifestyle expansion pack, we got the ability for your sims to be able to make all these different juices out of all these different bits and bobs, basically, all these different fruits and vegetables. And up until recently, and pretty much ever since we got the horse ranch expansion pack, beforehand, whenever I would build something where I'd imagine that the house would have a cellar and your sims would make wine, I'd always use a juice making station. But now that we've got the nectar making station, I'd already place it down and then there was just kind of like the perfect amount of space. And I thought, well, I mean, this this household, they're doing a lot anyway. Why not just add in some juice fizzing so then they can do that as well? So yeah, there ends up being like a little juice fizzing station in the basement as well. There is also a home office in this build. And then there is also a utility room slash mud room, which is probably one of my favorite utility rooms I've built in a really long time because I tried to do this thing where I tried to make it look like there was almost like an animal bath within the room itself. Now in The Sims 4, if ever you get yourself to play with dogs, you'll notice that after a little while, they get a little bit like grubby. They get a little bit messy. They walk around, they've got like dirt on them. Sometimes they'll have like flies bouncing off them. And oftentimes you have to wash your dog in the game. But I wanted to have some sort of like mud room where your Sims look like they have a dedicated dog bath and so if you were to look at the house on the left hand side there's kind of like a little bump out in there it ends up being like a utility room you know washing machine tumble dryer but then i also built this little section and i tried to make it look like there was like a dog bath and i placed down like a little it was like more like a wooden quite rustic looking bathtub it's just a regular bathtub to be honest your sims could probably just have a bath downstairs in the utility room but for my gameplay i was just thinking it would be a really nice idea to make it seem like it was a dedicated area for dogs in this household but because we have the washing machine and the tumble dryer on the inside i then thought it would be really nice to also include it on the outside so your sims can hand wash their clothes in a little wash tub and there is also kind of like a little laundry line washing line for your sims to hang out their clothes in the sunshine and then there is also like a water mill by it that ends up being like a fishing pond i placed down two different fishing signs one of them is one where you can actually put the fish that your sims catches into the pond you've kind of like always got them for storage reasons but then i also placed down one that you can find in the world and it's one where your sims can like catch new fish and like discover new fish in them and then yeah i think that's pretty much it in terms of like the basics of this lot and kind of like what is going on you can currently see that i'm just going around and just basically figuring out the placement for everything because like i was saying I felt like I needed more space. So I was really struggling on trying to figure out, okay, where's going to be the horse area? Where's going to be like the animal area of like the cows and the sheep and you know, all of them kind of animals. I needed to try and figure out almost like the footprints 
for the layout of this lot before I actually came in and I started landscaping it and just kind of like decorating around it. Currently, I'm just focusing on this little area over here, which is kind of like the horse jumping training area. So I was thinking that if you wanted to, you could try and make it seem like this house is maybe like a horse riding school or something. And maybe Sims come here and they bring their own horses and maybe the, one of the Sims that lives here, maybe like a trainer or something. And so they spend a lot of their time out here training horses, going on the jumps, walking around the barrels. Like there's like a big dedicated area for the horses to kind of like level up their skills. And then kind of behind them, that that's what ends up being the horse stables also i have to mention this because i felt so silly last week i don't know if you caught it but i built a massive family like horse ranch it was the first build that i did when the new expansion pack came out and when i, when I was doing that voiceover i forgot the name stable i actually genuinely forgot that a horse's house as i was referring to it was called a stable and thank you so much for all the people that reminded me in the comments i think i got around about 20 minutes into that voiceover and then i remembered that the word stable existed and beforehand i was calling it the stable the horse's house because i just genuinely could not remember english i just couldn't remember the name of it but behind the little like horse riding and training area there does end up being a horse stables there is enough space for two horses and then i was also thinking maybe the sheep and the goats live in there as well one thing that i am not so much disappointed about but i'm a little bit gutted about it with this new expansion pack don't get me wrong i really have been truly enjoying the gameplay with the horses and like the sheep and the goats and it just i think it's very fun but one not criticism that i have but one thing that i really wish that they would have included would be some sort of object for the baby sheep and the baby goats to kind of like lock them to or not so much lock them to but basically i just want them to have a bed because if you have played with goats and sheep so far you might have realized they just kind of wander and half the time you don't actually know where they are like in my own personal gameplay i have been struggling to locate my goat cannot find him because he's just wandering about and where he doesn't have like a pet bed or somewhere that he goes in the night time to sleep you just have to search for them and so when it comes around to actually building a place for them you have to kind of like imagine where they would sleep i was thinking that they'd probably sleep in the stables with like alongside the horses or something but yeah that is one thing that i really wish they would have included in this expansion pack it's just like a little animal bed for them one thing i will say is when i actually started properly deep diving into the gameplay of this new expansion pack i was kind of hoping that the the sheep and the goats would kind of attach themselves to the normal animal beds that we have in game so you know the cats and dogs expansion pack well we've got like pet beds for your dogs and your cats to sleep on but i was kind of slightly hoping that maybe the sheeps and the goat will kind of take some initiative and then maybe start sleeping on the pet beds but at least in my own personal gameplay that doesn't seem to be the case which i personally feel like 100 percent missed the opportunity imagine right imagine if you could have some like sheep dog or maybe like a golden retriever or something and then it's sleeping in the same bed you've got like a little goat or a little sheep or something i just feel like they they kind of missed the bar on that one but either way yeah i imagine that the the sheep and the goats may potentially sleep in the little like horses stable along with the horses but as well as that kind of like behind the horses stable over here i'm basically just going through the menu currently and i'm just trying to pick out items that look like they belong on a farm so with the new horse ranch expansion pack if you go into the live end menu you'll find that we've got these really big like tall almost like tanks of what i assume to be like oil or maybe I was about to say milk, but that's probably a bit ridiculous, but they look like they've got some sort of liquid in them. And so then I went around and I basically just went through the menu and combined all these different like farming looking items. And I wanted to have sort of like a little section for them somewhere in the build. Now they are just purely decorative, but then I did want that little area to end up having some sort of gameplay feature to it because otherwise it will literally just be like a small little garden of decorative tanks and like i just felt like there wasn't much point in it and so in the end in that little space i end up placing down a watering like collector machine so whenever it rains in the game your sims will be able to collect water there also ends up being a recycling machine as well as the solar panels that is where the solar panels live in this household so if your sims are really into like being green and being sustainable yeah they can have solar panels and they can go outside and they can clean them and they can just basically 
use the, the energy from the sun and power this absolutely massive farm. But over here, you can see that I'm just going around and pretty much starting out by doing a little bit of landscaping. Now, one thing that I want to mention, where I was building on a 64 by 64 lot, the landscaping for this one took me, honestly, an embarrassing amount of time. I couldn't even tell you the amount of footage that I have of just purely me landscaping this build. I do end up cutting out quite a large chunk of the landscaping, but purely for the fact of... A lot of it is quite repetitive because a lot of it I'm just using the same trees, same bushes, same plants, same shrubs, just in different placements and just kind of like dotted about everywhere. But I did start off over here by kind of like this little vegetable patch. So if your sims want to, they can grow some oversized crops or they can just place down like normal strawberries and, you know, just like normal kind of vegetables. But I wanted to use the big planters that we got from the Cottage Living Expansion Pack because I wanted to give you the option for if you did want to grow some really big, like, I don't know, watermelons or pumpkins or something. And then there's kind of like a little pathway which leads into what I imagine to be the house's actual garden because... I feel like where I'm building on a farm, it's so hard to kind of section it. So you've got like the farmland, but then also the house's garden. This little section over here, I imagine that it is the house's garden. And this is where you've got like the laundry line. You've got a wash tub that ends up being at some beekeeping huts. And then I think in the other section, I end up placing down the insect huts. But yeah, there's a greenhouse in this little section. And on the inside of the greenhouse, I made it so there is a few different vertical planters, as well as like a massive table in the middle. It's got loads of like pre-grown oversized crops and just little seed packets and stuff and also the lighting in that room is just so beautiful but yeah that is kind of like on the back right hand side and then it kind of leads back around again to kind of like the back porch area so over here i end up placing down the little bunny rabbit hut so there is also bunnies on this lot i wasn't joking by the way when i said that i wanted to build like the ultimate farm that included every single sort of animal in the game i, I truly meant it like, i wanted there to be bunnies as well as you know insects and birds and chickens and literally every single type of insect or just creature basically that your sims can interact with i wanted to try and include it on this lot but yeah over in the back garden i placed down a little kind of like tree trunk bunnies will come out of it in gameplay there also ends up being a little tree trunk so your sims can sing to the bird and then eventually befriend the birds if they have a good <laughs> relationship with them and stuff and then on the actual like back porch section itself i end up placing down a barbecue area a little dining room table also like a little rocking chair and just kind of some a few little different decorations to kind of just make it feel decorated and a little bit lived in and stuff i also painted the ceilings on both the inside of this house but then also the outside so you might see me throughout this video keep on like twisting the camera up i just wanted to see what all the furniture was looking like once i had the painted ceilings just because to me this is honestly like one of the best new features that we've got in the sims 4 the fact that we can now put like tiles on the ceiling or wood on the ceiling or even if you fancy carpet it's just it really does make a difference especially for like screenshots not only for like a builder's perspective but also for gameplay like the amount of screenshots that i've got over the years or i've got my sims doing this really nice beautiful thing but then there's like a re really weird like gray white-ish seeding kind of like ruining my screenshot i'm just so happy that we can now finally paint them but you can see that i pretty much just finished off the like the back porch area and now i'm moving over into the greenhouse also i do want to kind of apologize in a sense for the way that i seem to have filmed this whole entire lot because when i was filming the exterior like i said i had this massive mental note going on in my head and i was thinking of all these different features that i wanted to include in this massive farm because like i said i wanted it to be like the ultimate farm for your sims to live in but in doing so when i was like doing the exterior decorating landscaping and whatnot i keep on having these ideas of oh i should include that or oh this will be really cool in this area and so i keep on like jumping to and from in between the different sections i really hope it's not too hard to follow but i tried to edit it down and kind of like cut it down into it some sort of way so it seems like it's making some sort of sense but yeah i i was jumping about all over the place in this one but it's just because i had so many different ideas and there were just so many different things that i wanted to try and include in this build and so when the idea came to me in my head i just i went for it straight away but currently you can see that i'm just coming in into the greenhouse and i'm just coming in and just decorating this like little side table in the middle now one thing that i love is when you see them greenhouses in i'm thinking like films and sometimes you see them on videos of when people have these really big greenhouses but they have some sort of like counters in the middle of them i just really like the look of it and whenever i do seem to build greenhouses in my sims builds which granted isn't that often they're normally not big enough to have this kind of feature but when it came around to doing the inside of this one i noticed that i had so much empty space in the middle of the greenhouse and it just kind of 
it made it feel a little bit cold and so I decided to use this side table which we got from the greenhouse haven kit basically just plonk it down into the middle of it and then I used the move object sheets and I put down like oversized crops onto the table loads of different like soils I put down loads of different like planters and just loads of different like greenhousey bits if you want to put it that way and then it also plays down some vertical planters in there as well as some like little smaller planters as well one thing that I added into this build which originally I was a little bit hesitant to add into it but it was the wishing wheel at kind of like the front entrance driveway area because i'm building on a 64 by 64 lot and i've got all these different sections dedicated to all these different like activities and gameplay features i noticed that the actual middle section of the lot was quite empty and i did end up placing down like a fishing pond your sims can go fishing there it's kind of like a little water mill but then the actual driveway portion i placed down a truck and i, I did some terrain paint to make it look like the truck has drove in some like mud off the streets and stuff you know it's brought it into the driveway Way, but then there was still so much empty space and so then eventually I decided to add the wishing well that we got from the cottage living expansion pack now I was a little bit hesitant because I did actually use this in my last build last week when I built like a huge family ranch I used that in that build and I just I felt like it was a little bit too repetitive but I'm really happy that I decided to add the well because once you actually remove the well and just kind of like look at it without that massive well in the place it just seems like there was too much empty space it did also make me realize the lack of wishing wells that we actually have in the sims 4 i feel like by this point in in time you know the sims 4 it came out in 2014 we should have more wishing well options than what we currently have because apart from the one that i've used off memory i think we only have another two one of them is a decorative one that we got from i think it's the get together expansion pack but it's very like tudory and it's also quite small and so to fill out like a big empty space like the one that i used it didn't really make the cut but then there was another one which i was debating using but i just didn't like the overall look of it it, it looks a little bit too fancy like but it's one that we got from the romantic garden stuff pack and it's one where your sims can like make wishes into the well sometimes the wishes come true and then sometimes Basically, the game will make it do the opposite thing that you seems to wish for, which is quite fun in gameplay. But yeah, I just ended up using the one that we used from the Cottage Living Expansion Pack. There is also like a little sign kind of like a sign archway so your sims will like drive into the build they kind of like go under it now you wouldn't have seen me clutter it up and like decorate it because i decorated it when i was in the middle of doing some landscaping and i just didn't want the footage of this video to be too choppy and so i did decide to cut out the footage for it but you might have seen it at certain points in this build basically the sign where your sims will kind of like go under when they drive into this lot I basically use all these little tiny plaques that seem to have all these different farm animals and kind of like merge them onto the sign basically saying this farm has horses cows chi sheep chickens llamas pretty much every single animal that we have in the game now is on that sign apart from bunnies i couldn't find a sign for bunnies but i made sure to include every single animal that i could to kind of indicate to sims maybe visiting this lot that there is a lot of different farm animals here but now moving over you can see that i've moved into the hall stable and i'm currently just going around and just basically decorating it cluttering it up just trying to make it feel like a bit of a workspace but then also where the horses live so in here there is two different hay beds so you can have two different horses i also end up placing down some hay barrels that they can feed from there is also a little watering station and then on the opposite side like kind of over here where i'm cluttering up i wanted there to be some sort of like garagey storage unit bit for just loads of random bits and bobs so you know like buckets of oil and different like masks and spare tires and maybe some like horse riding gear and just loads of different stuff that i feel like you would normally find in a garage i placed down at some tires that we got from the live edit menu i also placed down a few different like horse statues i placed down like side tables and just loads of just random bits and bobs of course if you've got something that you feel like you might want to place down to this area maybe as in like a counter making station or something you definitely can do because in the end to be honest this area just pretty much ends up being like a decorative space but i wanted there to be some sort of like garagey area in this build because where it is such a big build i just felt like they would have some sort of like storage unit for loads of different like farmland stuff but actually decorating and just trying to clutter up the inside of the stable is something that i have personally been struggling with a little bit i don't know if you've been the same with me but when it comes around to furnishing and just trying to make a horse stable look interesting i'm having a little bit of a hard time because i've never really been inside of a horse stable and so when it actually comes around to furnishing it and decorating it and try and make it feel lived in 
I don't really know what to add. And so I end up placing down loads of different like cracks and scratches and just different marks onto the balls and then also the floor. Also placed down a ton of different rugs, which the rugs that I placed down look like hay. So it looks like the horses have like trodden hay from the rest of the, the farmland and you now they've brought it into where the bed is. But yeah, I just, I really do struggle when it comes around to decorating and furnishing the inside of stables just because realistically in real life, off memory of what I've seen like films and TV shows, I don't think horse stables actually have too much in them, but when it comes around to decorating them in The Sims 4, I just want to place loads of different stuff and it's just something that I've been struggling with, but you can see that I've now come over and I've started furnishing at the upper porch area. Quickly though, you would just see me do a little bit more terrain paint for the build as if I hadn't already done enough. I honestly just spent so much time just landscaping, terrain painting, and then read terrain painting and just, I couldn't decide and I really just, I went through it with the train paint in this one because I wanted it to look a certain way. But originally I placed down a pathway, pretty much covering the main driveway and then I placed down mud in the different animal sections. But then when you actually zoom out, it just looked very brown. Like it didn't look that nice in terms of like the train paint. And we are building in a neighborhood that has green grass around it. And I just didn't like the fact that the actual lot itself, even though the natural terrain is grass, it just looked like mud and so then eventually I went back and I placed in like small little sections of grass more so like where the horses live and then also where like the cow and the llama and the chickens live as well just then it looks like they've got something to eat but there is still like mud patches but I tried to make the patches of mud look a little bit more like natural and I tried to do like little like chip like trowels as well like one thing that I did in the terrain paint not only for like the ties in the driveway to look like it's been bought in mud but for like the horse ranch and then like the horse train area I did like these ever so subtle like mud pathways to make it look like over time where the horses kind of like go to and from the stable they've kind of left like a little bit of a a terrain path by their feet just by generally walking over it all the time and so yeah, the, the terrain painting for this one it did take me a while admittedly but either way moving on as you can see i just quickly did the entrance little like porch area outside the front door i ended up placing down like a little like love seat it looks to be like an outdoor bench but it's got these little pillows on it also ended up placing down like some planters i think there is also a kind of like a little stool by the front door and i merged in some like letters also put like a little snack thing because i was thinking or well, maybe they get a lot of deliveries every single day you know they're a farm they probably get deliveries for like hay or some sort of like farming supplies and so maybe they're quite friendly with their delivery drivers and so if ever there's a delivery they've kind of got like a little snack and go thing by the front door so then like a driver could like take a packet of crisps or maybe like a can of drink or something but yeah i placed that down by the front door and then you can see that i've now moved on into the inside i just quickly did like the entrance hallway in the entrance hallway i end up placing down like a little side table and then another side table by the front door that ends up being a few different plants honestly not too much because i didn't want to overclutter the inside of the house in terms of making it so it seems like your sims can't navigate their way around it don't get me wrong, it's, it is cluttered. I tried to make it feel like a lived-in house and it is realistic, but I just didn't want to go over the top and like the hallway spaces, just for like navigation purposes. But you can see that I've now moved over and I've started furnishing the kitchen. So in the kitchen, I, of course, again, I use the new counters that we just got from the new expansion pack. I used these last week, but I also used them this same swatch last week. But for the interior of this house, for like the wallpapering and the flooring, it's a very dark color slim it's very rustic and although there were some really nice swatches of the counters which in in time i will eventually get around to using but i just really like the default swatch of them and so i place them round in kind of like a almost like a semi-circle motion just kind of going all around the walls then there ends up being a smeg looking fridge and then also this kind of like more rustic older looking oven i then place down some like cabinets above it i then place down some like shelving units when your sims are actually walking through the front door they can pretty much see the kitchen from where they're standing but then when you're actually in the kitchen it is quite open plan in a sense of there isn't like an archway but there's columns and then spandrels which then lead on into the dining room it is quite a small kitchen but it is kind of homey in the same in the same sense i did manage to leave enough counters like enough counter space for if you're someone that likes to get your sims to cook together they can still do that i think in total i end up placing down two empty counters that are completely free of clutter you know your sims aren't gonna like have any issues with placing down like a food bowl and trying to prepare their food or infant i wanted to have at least two empty counters and yeah i think that's where it ends up being but you can see that i'm just going around and just basically trying to clutter it up trying to make it feel lived in i placed down a bunch of different curtains above the window i was struggling with the window area a little bit because 
one thing that I find, and I don't know if anyone else struggles with this, but normally in kitchens, when it comes around to the windows, I never know how to decorate above them because I feel like if I leave it and I don't have like any shelving units, any curtains or anything like that, it looks very bare. But then for these cabinets that I use in this kitchen, for example, the, the little like half cabinet, I don't know how to explain it, but you know the one that you normally put like above an oven or something, the, the smaller cabinet. If I place all of them next to each other, side by side above where the windows are, where they're the exact same cabinet, and they've got the exact same clutter decoration in it. It just looks a little bit odd. And so when it comes round to like just decorating above like the curtain space, I just really struggle. In the end, I place down like a little shelving unit. I place down some like spices, a, a book or two, and just random like clutter pieces. But it is something that I've noticed, especially with these new counters and these new cabinets that we've got from the new expansion pack. Nowadays, when they give us a kitchen set, some of the cabinets aren't that usable as what I'd like them to be. Like sometimes I just want a cabinet that's just got a couple of doors. Like some of them have like open shelving unit, which is fine and it's lovely. But I feel like when you're cluttering up like a big space and you want to use the same cabinet over and over again, it can be a little bit difficult. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that. But either way, moving on. In the kitchen, there ends up being like a little microwave area, a little coffee station, and then also like a kitchen sink. But you can see that I've moved over now and I've started furnishing at the dining room. Now this room is quite small, but it's actually like one of my favorite rooms in this whole entire house. This room, the the home office and then the teenager's bedroom are probably my favorite out of all the different rooms but then saying that I love every single one of them but I just don't know what it is there is just something so cozy about this dining room space and the amount of times I keep on angling the camera up because I just love the look of the the wooden ceiling it just it really makes it but in the dining room I use the new round table that we got and also the new chairs and then I also use the new fireplace the new like storage cabinet like china cabinet area, area thing where your sims put all their fancy plates and cups and stuff and then I also place down an armchair into the corner the armchair that I've used I really like but I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to use it in like my regular builds because it's an armchair that looks like it's had some sort of cloth or bed sheet thrown over the top of it and I don't know I just feel like I'm not going to be able to use it as much as what maybe I would like to but I mean that's only going to be something that I'm going to figure out in due time but either way you can see that I've now moved over and I've started furnishing the little utility room and laundry space so this is the room that I was talking about when I was saying that I wanted to make it look like there was some sort of like dog bath or like animal bath for what I imagine to be like the household dog because when I was building this I was imagining that this family also has a dog and a cat and I imagine that the dog would be kind of like an active part of the farm so maybe it's like a border collie or some sort of like sheep dog or something and you know the dog goes out every single day does their job helps helps out the household and then of an evening they're really dirty a little bit grubby and so they need to come in through the house but they come in through the side door and there's kind of like a little dedicated bath area for them i honestly don't know why i've never done this before in the past but when i was doing this video it just it came into my mind i just thought i have to do that straight away it'll be a nice little feature for the utility room and yeah, this is just one of my favourite utility rooms I've furnished in a really long time. Also ended up placing down a little washing machine, tumble dryer. There is also different like shelving units, which I tried to make look like they've got different like pet related items. So I was thinking that some of the lotions that I placed down would be like dog shampoo and dog conditioner and uh, is dog body wash a thing? I don't think it is. I think it's just shampoo and conditioner. But I tried to make it look like there was some dog related items. Also like sized down some treats and plopped them onto the little shelf in unit. I also placed down some like newspaper underneath the bathtub and then I placed down like, this rug. But the rug itself makes it look like there's muddy footprints and it's kind of like leading from the back door going to the bathtub. So it looks like the dog has just, you know, walked in from a day of work and they're all muddy and they've just got into the bathtub. I don't know. I just thought it was so sweet but yeah I absolutely love that utility room moving on now though you can see that I've now moved over and I've started furnishing the lounge room so in here of course I use the new sofas that we got from this expansion pack which I'm still absolutely so in love with these new sofas just like the mesh of them the color of them the quality of them it is just it's just so lovely I really wanted to use these new sofas in this kind of like 
cow print swatch and originally i made it so the two three seater sofas and then both the armchair had this like cow print swatch on them but then when i zoomed out and i just looked at it it just looked a little bit too much then in the end i decided to make the actual three seater sofas both brown but then luckily the cow print version of the armchair is like a similar brown color swatch and so it looks like it's meant to be a part of the matching set anyway but in here as well again i use the new fireplace i placed down this absolutely massive kind of like console side table in the middle of the section the one that i've used is from the cats and dogs expansion pack and it looks to be some sort of like old storage unit or maybe like an old piece of like farmland equipment and maybe they turned it into some sort of so side table or some sort of coffee table for the inside of the house i then also managed to find a place to place down the cat tree in the back corner of the room which i have spoken about this before but i don't know if it's just me but whenever it comes around to placing down that cat tree into my builds i really struggle to find the correct place for it because I just can never really seem to make it work but the the shape of this lounge room was just kind of like the perfect shape so i could place it down to the corner and then originally i placed down a half wall to kind of like separate it but then eventually i ended up placing down like a normal wall and then i end up placing down columns either side and then there's like a spandle in the middle i do decide to cut that part out but when i actually move over and i start furnishing the home office you'll then see it in kind of like the back corner but yeah there ends up being like a little cat tray for the cat and then on the opposite side i then end up placing down a standing piano i was about to say grand piano then but now we have standing pianos in the sims store thank god because the amount of times i've used side tables and merged in the keyboard to try and make it look like a standing piano but yeah i end up placing down a little standing piano kind of like opposite the cat tree it was kind of like the perfect placement for it as well because it was the exact right amount of tiles just the right amount of space and it just it fitted in nicely however i didn't decide to use the one that we got from the new ep i decided to use the standard piano that we got from the growing together expansion pack only for the fact of even though the new standard piano that we just got with the horse ranch ep is absolutely stunning like it's so beautiful the wooden texture on the piano itself is just it is just so pretty the thing is it's quite chunky and i mentioned this last week when i built that like huge family horse ranch but the actual piano itself it's quite a, a deep item and i feel like the other standard piano that we got from the growing together ep is a little bit more it's just slimmer like it's just easier to place down into like a little small section and so yeah i decided to opt for this one in kind of like a dark brown swatch and then on top of it i placed down loads of different books and statues a few different clocks one thing actually that i haven't spoken about recently but we've recently got an update to some of the base game books in the sims 4 which i use these books i'm not joking in every single one of my build i place down the little like trio of like i say trio there's more than three but these like little like stand of books that look like they're just leaning upon something i place them down in literally every single build and up until fairly recently we only had three color swatches of them now they've updated them and we have so many more swatches we have like pinks and reds we have like blacks and whites and grays and just there are so many now new color options and when you want to do like a massive line of books maybe on like a shelf or a side table or some sort of cabinet i'm just so appreciative because it's just so much easier this way but either way moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the next room which is the home office so in here i did one of my favorite things to do with these kind of like little almost like ottoman things in the game where i tried to make it look like there was a window seat the room itself for a home office i must admit it was quite big and i, I honestly i didn't know what to to put in here to kind of like fill it out and so i had the idea of or why don't i try and make it look like the little bump out kind of like the front of the room why don't i try and make it look like there's some sort of like built-in furniture and so what i did is i went into the cabinets category from like the the kitchen menu i pulled out some cabinets i then rotated them 180 degrees so you could only see the back of them i then leveled them into the floor and then i've got this little ottoman the one that i've used is from the new horse ranch expansion pack and i basically leveled it up merged in and made it look like a seating area i just absolutely love this so i did it again on the upstairs level you won't see me do it on the upstairs because for the upstairs hallway i did decide to cut out just that one room just because i had so much footage for this build and just included that footage of just the hallway just added like an extra three minutes onto the video and it was just a little bit unneeded it was only a hallway it wasn't that exciting but yeah i just loved this idea so much and so i decided to do it on the upstairs level as well but also in the home office there ends up being 
a little computer desk with a little computer and then on the opposite side I use the modular bookcases that we got from the book nook kit and I tried to make it look like they were kind of like built around the window I then went in and cluttered them up with loads of different like clocks and vases and flowers and baskets and little statues and just loads of random just bits and bobs and try and make it feel like it's just a used item it's a used room people come in here and they just shove all their random stuff in there and they just kind of like leave it onto the bookcase i then also end up placing down two armchairs that we got from the basement treasures kit the armchairs i used because they kind of a little bit more like worn they look a little bit more weathered and that there is different swatches on depending on how used you want the armchair to look and so i thought it'd be a really good idea to place them down into the home office but then yeah i just end up finishing off that room by placing down a little stand and lamp and now you can see that i've moved on to downstairs and this is into the basement so in the basement there ends up being at two different rooms and then also kind of like a little hallway area when you first initially walk down the basement stairs there's kind of like a little side table i imagine it's just kind of like a a bits and bobs table i feel like we've all got these little areas wherever we live that has like just accumulated just random stuff like random boxes and random like ornaments and just random like photo frames and stuff i put one of them down into the basement and then above it i placed down this it almost looks like a wagon wheel of some sort and it's got all these really pretty flowers growing upon it but i placed down that and then on the room on the left hand side this is where i decided to make it into some sort of like country looking bar area honestly at this point it is no surprise to me that we've got another bar within a new game pack or new expansion pack or something i feel like every single dlc that we get whether it be a game pack expansion pack we seem to just always get a bar and we always seem to get a bar back as well and i'm not gonna lie i appreciate them but i really feel like we don't need any more bars or any more bar backs i say bar back i think that's the right terminology for it the thing over here that i'm cluttering up loads of different like bottles of wine and just random bits and bobs i think that's called a bar back it's just basically meant to be placed at the back of a bar so i'm assuming bar back is the name but i feel like in every single expansion pack that we get we get a new bar and it's not really needed but where is a new item in the game i wanted to use it somewhere in this build and it was just kind of like the perfect place for it in the basement as it does end up being like a beverage making room next door anyway i thought well it'll be nice if your sims can actually drink the beverages so in here as well as like the bar back and then also the big bar i placed down some barrels into the walls placed down some like nectar shelving units the ones that i've used are the ones that your sims can actively make wine and then pop them into it and i spoke about this last week but with this item it's very nice because you can basically put a bottle of wine into these little like storage cubbies if you want to call them that but then it shows like a physical difference because sometimes in the sims 4 we'll have things that you can put items into like say for example like a storage unit but then you can put like a, a load of stuff inside the storage unit but then it makes no visual difference but with these new like wine shelving things i don't know what to class them as but with them you can put a bottle of wine in and there's like a physical difference of course when i was building this there was absolutely no bottles of wine in them and it was just kind of like the the storage unit fresh out of building by but through gameplay they'll eventually be like cluttered up with all the different wine that your sims have been making it's just i really like the item but yeah i placed that down into there i then also placed some crates on the other side of it then some like extra barrels and just stuff and just tried to make it look like there was just loads of different nectar in that room it's kind of like the nectar storing room but over the other side of the basement we have the beverage making room so in the beverage making room we end up having the juice fizzing station as well as the nectar station so basically your sims can come in here they can either make a, a bottle of juice fizz or they can make a bottle of wine whatever they fancy but i thought it'd be nice to also have some sort of like little kitchen cabinet area i don't know what to class this as but i was thinking well your sims have probably been outside in the farmer's field they've probably collected all this separate like fruits and vegetables that they want to use they've maybe bought it in into like a little basket and they've maybe got like an area where maybe they wash the fruit before they start making drinks with it they've got like some sort of like towels and little like books for different recipes i also placed down at some like scrap bits of paper onto the side with like a little pen and then also some other different vegetables maybe some like some sort of like recipe or an idea for some sort of like 
bottle of wine or something. The basket that I've used, by the way, to kind of collect all the different fruit and vegetables, it's from the Jungle Adventure game pack. Now, you can find this in the debug menu, but if you actually get your Sims to go to the world of Selva Dorada and you get them to go like near where the market stalls are, your Sims can actively buy this in game. I just thought it was a really nice little basket to place down into this little like basement area. It's kind of like the the storage for where your sims would go and collect all the different like grapes and strawberries and apples and just try and make a drink out of them i also did size up the fruit ever so slightly before merging it into the basket and then some of them i like rotated ever so slightly just to make it look like a, a random banana is not just like plonked perfectly in the air i kind of like try to rotate certain fruits to make them look like they're actually leaning against the basket but in here you can see that i'm just going around basically just finishing this room off i placed down some like marks onto the walls i placed down a few different photo frames also placed down this really nice i don't even know what it's called but it's from jungle adventure and i placed it above the nectar making station I, I think it's called a tapestry of memory, but I placed that down into there. I also ended up placing down a few different like spider webs and then like older looking cobwebs, which if you're not aware in gameplay, there will be insects on them. <laughs> there will actually be a spider attached to that cobweb, which some people might not like and some people might like. I personally am not a massive fan of spiders in, in real life, but in The Sims 4, in a basement, it just kind of fits in perfectly. I also placed some of them down into the horse's stable. And then also actually, I forgot to mention it when I was doing it, but in the horse's stable as well, I added in like a little mouse hole. So in gameplay, when your horses are in the stable and they've gone to bed, there'll be a mouse like running around. You know how if you have a city living apartment, some of them have like mouse traps and the mouse will come out of a night time and you have to try and capture it and sometimes you have to complain to the landlord. Well, I placed down that little like mouse trap or mouse hole you eventually will place down a trap in there but i placed down that into the barn because yeah it was just like a nice little extra detail and i feel like that is quite realistic but either way moving on as you can see i've now moved on to the upstairs portion of this build and i started off by doing the bathroom so the bathroom that you see me do is pretty much like the main bathroom of the house there is other bathrooms and there's like a few different like powder rooms here and there but the the main bathroom it's actually just mainly used by the parents because both the the kids room and the teenagers room kind of have like a, a bathroom in between their little hallway space and then the guest bedroom also has like a little miniature ensuite it's very small but i just feel like if you've got someone coming around to stay you're more likely to give them the room that's got the ensuite just so they don't have to go into like their family bathroom but yeah in the bathroom i end up using the toilet and the bathtub which is from the cats and dogs expansion pack i use the new counters just in a different swatch and then i also play down like a shower and then there's also this little like cabinet that we got from the horse ranch expansion pack which i was meaning to say about last week but completely forgot we've got this new like toilet looking cabinet weirdly enough it's not in the toilet category so you know in the game how we've got like towels and toothbrush and toothpaste and all of them kind of decorations in one certain like category in the bathroom room decorations area something that i've noticed is the new bathroom cabinet just seems to not be in that category which i have actually realized there is a few different items from not only this pack but a few other packs as well which i really struggled to find in the, in the menu recently i feel like some of the newer dlcs that we're getting we're getting all these decorations and we're getting all these like bits and bobs but they're not actually placed down into categories that I tend to go towards whenever I'm decorating that room. That bathroom cabinet being one, for example. Like, it's literally a cabinet that has got, like, toilet rolls in. And for some reason, they didn't put it into the, the bathroom decorations category. It just... It really confused me. But either way, you can see that I've moved over and I've started furnishing the kids' room. So in here, I use the new single bed. I also use one of the new wardrobes. It's the one that's got the mirror. I also use this little, like, storage unit next to the bed. I'm not even sure what it's meant to be. I think it's just meant to be like a shelfing cabinet, but I really like the look of it. I also ended up placing down a side table into the kids' room, which I just purely placed down for decoration. I was thinking that it could be some sort of like chest of drawers area or something. Of course, it is just a side table, and so it's not going to function as a chest of drawers, but there is already like a wardrobe in that room anyway, and so I just thought it'd be nice to add it in. It's something a little bit different. I then clustered it up with loads of different like kids' toys and just loads of random bits and bobs. And then also in the kids' room, I used the new doll's house which we got from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And it's one that looks like, it's almost like a blown up doll's house. Like it looks like, you know, 
you know like a pattern pull when you blow it up it looks like a, a doll's house that has been blown up like that it comes in some really cute swatches and it kind of looks like some sort of barn or some sort of like farming doll's house absolutely perfect for this build and so yeah i placed that down into the kids room i also found this new like debug toy which i think must be like a new toy that the kids play with if they use that doll's house but it looks like to be some sort of like farming person or some sort of like cowboy or something they look like they're wearing some sort of like cowboy hat and yeah i place it down next to the doll's house also then place down like a little debug bridge and then like a little police looking car and just i tried to make it look like there was decorations around the doll's house that the kid would play with if that makes any sense but you can see that i've now moved over into the next bedroom which is the teenager's bedroom now i thoroughly enjoy this bedroom i just think this bedroom turns out to be just so pretty and just I just absolutely am just so obsessed with it. So in here, I use one of the new beds that we got from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. The one that I've used is kind of like a, it's kind of like a dainty looking bed. It just looks very antique, just very unique. And it's just, it's just so pretty, but it's got this really nice like floral bed spread on it. And I just thought it matched the wallpaper that I went for in this room just so perfectly. And so yeah, I decided to use this bed. I also ended up placing down at the new wardrobe that we got, which the new wardrobe, Honestly, it's just so beautiful. I I'm gonna have to stop myself from using it in every single build because it is just it just, it actually looks like custom content. Like it looks so good. I actually can't wrap my head around it. But I use the new wardrobe. I also use one of the new desks that we got from this EP. I then place down at some pictures above, like the bed, and then also the desk as well. I place down a picture above the desk, which has a horse, a sheep, and then a goat, or like a baby sheep, and then a baby goat. And then I also place down like a little typewriter computer. It is a fully functioning computer the one that i've used in that room it looks to be just like a typewriter but your sims can use it as like a normal everyday computer like there is still internet on that piece of technology even though it doesn't look like it but then i also placed down like a little art easel into the corner and then next to the art easel i placed down a little stool and then i merged in what is meant to be some sort of like gardening greenhouse clutter that we got from the greenhouse haven kit but i was thinking it could be like paints or something so then i merged it down onto the stool i then also found a debug paintbrush and then also some sort of like little it's like a wicker basket we got it from the my wedding stories debug menu and it's if you have a flower person it's kind of like what they'll use when your sims will have a wedding but i just thought it looked really cute and really dainty and so i decided to place it down onto that stool but now as you can see it moving over i'm actually just going around and finishing up the guest bedroom in this house so in here i decided to go for a base game bed and then i also merged in some of the furniture that we got from the new horse ranch expansion pack I tried to decorate the guest bedroom to be quite generic because I was thinking you could have like grandma come and stay or cousins or maybe just like family friends or something and so I just decorated it to be quite like a standard kind of room if that makes any sense but you can see that I've now moved over into the last room in this house which is the parents bedroom so in here I use this double bed which I am fully aware that I use a single bed version in the kids bedroom in this house but I just so I'm just such a fan of this new bed and I love it in the yellow swatch and so I did decide to use basically the same bed but just in a double bed form but if it bothers you, you can definitely just change the bed swatch but in here I decided to place down like a little makeup vanity also have like a, a wardrobe a bookcase a small little seating area and then I'm just gonna go around basically finish the room off I had some final touches like here and there but apart from that that is pretty much it so anyway guys i'm going to end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my gallery id is jessica pie yt or you can search for the hashtag jessica pie yt or just the hashtag jessica pie as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always if you do like my content then please do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next sims 4 speed building video bye guys